Have you fucking seen the comments in the Mario thread Let's in not. Something Awful? No. Why? It's just like a bunch of people... Like, this game is apparently so fucking divisive, and everybody's squabbling about all this bullshit, and people are accusing us of hating the game. Like, I've said so, several times that this is probably my favorite game that we've played yet, like in the main line of, mm -hmm. of games, uh, besides maybe Super Mario Bros. 2. It's just like... Ugh, people are just being weird. They're being weirdos. Guys, you being weirdos? Don't be weirdos. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, who? at some point, who cares? At every, at every point, who I cares? Don't, we don't hate this game. Uh, yeah, we don't. Listen, it's just not Mario. Oh, shit. Did you actually turn me, like, way down? Turn oh, the really? headphones way down? Yeah. I pulled it out a little because it was getting scratchy, and now it's super loud. Perfect. Right here? A little bit higher. Yeah, great. Here we are with the best music. God, this music's really good. The, uh, the Yoshi's Island athletic theme. Yeah. Um, mostly it seems people are upset that we're not exploring the world. Yeah, I saw that. People were Which saying, is like, like hey, really just don't have the time. Like, consider the scope of what this is. Yeah, like... And how much, like, like, Kyle doesn't hate this game. Kyle, you don't love this game. Yeah, dude, I don't hate this game, but, guys, consider this. This game is what's standing between me and Mario 64. Like, right. you know... Yeah. Um, and, you know, would you like this game more if you were taking the time to explore and finding cool stuff? No. You probably would. You uh, probably would. Maybe. But, like, I don't know. Is it enough? Is it enough to make this, uh, t this 10 out of this, well, probably six or eight total at the end of this? 10? 6, 8, 10 hours? Uh, what, we're at, like, we're probably at, like, episode nine. Yeah. And I'm gonna call that about... I'll say five to six hours, probably across those nine episodes. Would you, would you, in exchange for liking this game a little bit more, want to add ten episodes to this? Let's play. No, no, Abs not okay. in a million years. <laughs> like, listen, if it's, I'm being honest, we're doing Yoshi's Island a favor by playing the whole game. Um, well, we're doing every game a favor by playing the whole game. We don't need them. I don't need any of these games. I'm fucking so excited to get to the N64 because A, I love Mario World. I mean, uh, Mario 64. Yeah. And also, uh, no. Well, that get that generation them. just has the the like just some of the weirdest side games. Not really. There's like no Mario. Uh, I, I guess. Oh, I, guess I keep saying Mario the wrong names for things. There's like no N64 Mario games. Like it is. I can think of a bunch. The Mario. When I said when I said weird, I meant just I, I meant just a lot of fun stuff, which is the Mario Party games and the weird sports games, and those are gonna be fun. Yeah. Um. Um. Like, I, cause I have a master list of all the games that we're gonna play. Yeah. And and they're it's sectioned out by system, and the N sixty four system is like a fraction of the Why size were... of like any of the other ones. The GameCube has more than. Oh yeah, GameCube has way more. GameCube is where, where I'm thinking like, oh, there was just sunshine and that's it, and there's nothing. Well, no, because that's I could see how you would think that, especially as someone who didn't have a GameCube. But right. there were like a million, um, like sports games. Like there was like two Mario soccer games on the GameCube. I knew about those. I remember those. I thought the first one was on the N64. No. No, just there tennis was Mario and, golf and Mario Strikers and Mario Super Strikers. I remember, the, I remember the commercials for that. I remember thinking it looked pretty cool. It has a crazy art style. Like I don't know if any of it comes through in the game, but like all the character art for that for that game is nuts. Um, well, it's hard for that to come through in the game because in soccer games you're just zoomed out a billion times and you can't see. <laughs> also, see it was a GameCube. I don't know. Right? Like, yeah. Like it, um, kind of, it almost reminds me of like the really stylized like Street Fighter Four art in a little, in, I've but like way really, more extreme about it. I've always been really interested in uh, basketball and soccer video games because I don't play them, but I understand by looking at them that they're probably pretty fun. Yeah, especially especially soccer games. Soccer games seem fun. Like I would really like to put a bunch of hours into like Pro Evo or something. Apparently it's FIFA now. For for a number of years, FIFA has been the soccer game. Yeah, but FIFA is like the fucking game. worst. Like as an organization. Sorry. 
I didn't. I also did not realize that FIFA had become the better game. Yeah, I think it's been like that for maybe even like five years or something oh, like wow. that. Pro Evo being the better game, I, if I'm not mistaken, was more of like a PS2 generation thing. Okay. You know what we should do? We should just pl play a bunch of the fucking uh, Dreamcast 2K games. Those are good games. Yeah, we should do that. No, we shouldn't. No, I don't know. No, we shouldn't. Maybe we should. I don't know. Come on. Ugh. I guess I'm just backing out. Oh, this is that fun Song of Storm song. I didn't even notice. It's the, that's all of the inside music. Oh. Is that like anytime you're in a castle, basically? A lot of a lot of the Mario games do not have a ton of music. Quality over quantity. Mm, I don't know. They've done quality so many times for so many games that I bet they could have quality and quantity. Ah, crap. I can't go back up this way. Whoops. Whoops. Do 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 do. Hmm. I did find it surprising that people were like, Kyle, you're going too fast through Yoshi's Island, because I felt like I was just playing it. Like, I didn't feel yeah. like I was speed running Yoshi's Island. No, it didn't, didn't feel like you were doing particularly well at any of the no. levels. Or even good at them. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I hate these this, are this nasty the little bully. worst things. I'm trying to take our baby. What's your favorite color, Yoshi? I think every Yoshi has a different favorite color. Oh, you're not asking the Yoshi. You're asking me what my favorite color Yoshi is. That's correct. I thought you were asking the Yoshi. Hey, buddy. What's your favorite color? Uh, if you're asking me, I like the yellow Yoshi, but maybe that's only because I'm looking at the yellow Yoshi right now. Um, uh, I don't like the yellow Yoshi. Maybe a nice purple Yoshi? You like a purple Yoshi? I like a purple Yoshi. Purple is my second favorite color. Second favorite? After red. After red. Red then purple, huh? Red then purple. Yeah. And then green. I like blue and green. You don't like purple? Nah. That's what blue and green are. No, that's what red and blue are. Whatever. Whatever. I didn't have time enough to do the, the color math in my head. Color math was my worst subject in school. Color math you was the best You have to start doing long school. division with turquoise? Forget <laughs> about it. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this stupid one-hit kill lava. What a bunch of fucking garbage. Yeah, what a bunch of garbage. You can't even step in fire and be okay? God. I'm on your side. Hey, Einstein. Those guys are adorable. Don't turn them into eggs. They're eggs now. They're not eggs. Deal with it. Yo, this is... Hashtag deal with it. I know that we fucking talked about this before, but Yoshi is disgusting, and this is a game about Vor. <laughs> this is a fucking Vor game. This is some... Yoshi is voracious. This is some gross, se is deviant sex game where Yoshi eats and then encapsulates <laughs> tiny little creatures for his sick pleasure. It's just what he's into, all right? Don't right. judge him for his thing, okay? Everyone has their thing, Keith. But does he have you've to got, parade you know, them around like that? You've got wordplay. What? You've got wordplay, and he has swallowing things and pooping them out of his clauka. <laughs> He's <laughs> listen. He can do what he wants with his clauka behind <laughs> closed doors. Yeah. But if he's gonna come into my castle, <laughs> squeezing things out of his clauka. <laughs> Get that flower. Oh, they're yeah. gonna be so mad at you that you didn't get that flower. 
They hate when you don't get flowers. <laughs> Sorry I didn't get the flowers, jerk bags. Hey, jerk bag. Why don't you piss off? So, hey, what's up with you? Um... Try to buy a car. Yeah? Yeah. Good. You, it, it's about time you got a car. Yeah. Well... The... I've been saying for a long time that you need a car. Well, I have a car. Kind well, of. kind of. I, um... I basically... I'm just like, well, I've gotten enough out of this one car. I don't think I'm gonna sell this car. I couldn't get enough money for it from it for it to be worth it, probably. So I, maybe I'm just gonna have this one and maybe try like try to fix it, or or oh, don't do that. Or if someone can sell, well, I like it a do lot. Do not put any money into that car for the love of God. I wouldn't put a lot of money. It wouldn't cost a ton of money to fix the problems. But also, I don't have the time or patience to make a super dangerous car not super dangerous right now. And I need a car that is not constantly about to just explode. Yeah. Um. I mean, I could have told you not to buy a car from 1984, but hey, what do I know? Well, it's 1989, first of all. Oh, sorry, that changes everything. I don't know why you keep thinking it's 1984. That's like the fifth time. I think it's you just, just really like George Orwell. Just fucking. Oh, come on. It's just stuck in my head that way. Um. And so I'm trying to. F I I was gonna buy some fucking. Uh, 07 Toyota, but they were asking like uh, a couple thousand too many dollars for it, and then were weird scumbags and condescending, so I left in the middle of a Just go meeting to with them. Dealership, dude. I don't have enough money for a car at a dealership. Yes, you do. Uh, no, I don't. I can't afford a car loan on a car that costs over nine thousand dollars. Or yeah, I can well, no. Don't get a car that costs more than nine thousand dollars. Oh, I thought you meant like a fucking certified dealership. This is from a dealership. Um, there was just a dealership that was like, like, yeah, this car's ten thousand dollars, and I was like, nope, this car's eight thousand dollars, and it was like, uh, no, it's ten, and I was like, no, you're supposed to say a different number, and then, I, and then they were like, nope, it's ten. Nah, I don't think people do that anymore. No, that's super what people do, especially with cars. Uh, especially because they legitimately were asking way too much money for the car. Uh, fuck this whole game. Fuck this whole stupid. Let me go. Game. Let me do this. No. Let me do it. Get out of here. I hit me. It's our right, last. I'm just gonna life. eat this. I'm gonna eat my sub then. You jerk. Oh come on. Wait. I thought you had one more. I thought I had one more too. Dang. Don't That's... eat your sub in the middle of a video. Ugh. Listen. I need some to occupy my hands. Don't. What are you doing? Bring my sub back over here. Who the fuck are you? Bring my sub over here. You don't get to eat a sub while we're doing a let's play. I what can do whatever I want. What is I'll it? eat any Why sub. You? I'll eat anything. Name a food. Name any food. This is the same level? We did this an hour ago. What a bunch of garbage. <laughs> Fuck this whole game. I take everything positive back. Me I too. This game sucks game. and anyone that likes it sucks. Oh, he's sad. Okay. I think that we ended the last episode by game over on this level. Yeah, we did. Okay. I don't think. I know. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Look at baby Mario's little hat, though. I mean, it's a big hat. It's too big for a baby. Well, it's probably little for a full, full-grown full man. I mean, I like they really thought it out. They were like, Mario's got a little hat. He's and he goes, hat. wait, hang on. If he's got a little hat as a baby, where's he get the new hat when he's an adult? Like, it doesn't make sense. He's got to start with the same hat. Oh, you're saying that this is the same hat? Yeah. Like, he's had the same hat his whole life. Okay. I, I was assuming that just by, just like how time works, that at some point he would have gotten a new hat. No. Mar you think Mario just has, like, a bunch of different hats? Well, at two at minimum. Minimum two. He's a hero. He knows a princess. Surely she bought him a hat at some point. At one point or another point.
This so, is the worst. That we have to do this again. Yeah, it is. Um, what's I, I did a whole thing that I we never talked about. Oh, what's that? that? I never talked about with you. I played all the way through Goldeneye on the medium difficulty. Why did you say medium difficulty like that was a... What? Uh, I just would have just assumed that it was the medium difficulty. <laughs> well, it's really hard. And also it's... Well, it's, it's because that game stupid. is bad. No. Yeah. That's why. It's hard because it's not any good. I, I guess I was thinking back to... um, I We had recently put out that episode of the... Or that part of the marathon where we were playing Goldeneye. Uh -huh. And the whole time... Where I was, my thesis was, this game is bad. And, like, yeah, I was saying, like, I'm having fun with this game. And your whole... You're, you kept just saying like that if I moved the difficulty up from easy to medium that I would stop having fun. Yeah. So I had to prove you wrong by oh, playing through okay. the entire game on medium. And and um you know my feelings about the experience <laughs> are really conflicting. Okay, tell me. Just per just it's okay that you used to like Goldeneye. No. How do you feel? No, it doesn't. I still just because had you fun. don't like Goldeneye anymore doesn't mean that anything that you used to feel about Goldeneye is invalid. No, it's okay. I don't think that that would be the case. But I enjoy. Like, it was weird because, first of all, I realized that my experience with the Goldeneye campaign, like the levels in it, are strictly divided in half. Okay. Where the first half, I've played all those levels like a million times. And then the second half, I've played them all once. Right. Um, it got really hard really fast mm -hmm. in like an arbitrary kind of not fun way mm -hmm. um, where you just don't have a lot of health and there's a lot of enemies and they're all shooting you. Yeah. But for some reason, I kept playing it. Like I Well, because you're, you're, you're a lunatic, you beat oh. Fan Final Fantasy 1 just cuz. That's a little different, though. It wasn't. It's the same. Tell me how you think it's different. Well, the the difference is that, like, there's no part of me right now that's like, hey, why don't I go play Final Fantasy 1? Mm hmm But I still want to well, play... Well, you were the thing, doing that I, when you were I still beat, playing Final Fantasy 1. I beat Goldeneye. Yeah. I beat Goldeneye, and then... I kind of want to just keep playing Goldeneye. I think what I actually just ordered Perfect Dark on Amazon because so I was like, well, I might as well play the unofficial sequel. Here's what's here's what's up. Here's what I think has happened. I think that you're trapped in the terrible coil of nostalgia. I don't think so, because I mean, like let like let's. This is not a three-hour-long game. Like this took hours and hours and days right. of my time. Well, so it's not like I. I, I would have gotten... No, if it was just nostalgia, I would have just been like, okay, I'm good. No, this is what I'm talking about. I think that this is... I think that the nostalgia runs deep enough where you're just enjoying being in that place. In the golden eye place. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I I guess we'll find out with Perfect Dark. Yeah, yeah. I guess we fucking will, huh? <laughs> Such a dick. But, uh, yeah. No, it was... It was weird, but it was fun. I, I realized that the way to play Goldeneye is to... Um, Stop at some point? No. Because the normal way is forward, back, and then turn left and turn right around the analog stick. Uh -huh. And you have, like, look up, look down, and strafe left and strafe right on the C buttons. But I changed it to a control scheme where movement, like your traditional FPS, modern FPS movement, is on the D-pad. And looking and aiming is on the analog stick so I was holding like almost holding the controller backwards where I had my left hand on the d-pad and my right hand on the analog stick okay it was interesting and I found it an enjoyable way to play Goldeneye so you were basically faking a dual analog situation yeah pretty much but I mean it's I mean it's it's a control scheme in the game right you know it's a thing that you can you can do they were so close they almost figured it out they almost unlocked the secret of how to enjoy a, a game on a console. I mean, I think they probably did the best they could on the N64 controller. Yeah. You don't. Oh, so you're saying that? Like, I mean, it was, what I'm saying is, they, like, by not having that as the default control. Oh yeah. They well, almost figured yeah. it out. They almost unlocked the code. Well, I think that was kind of the secret to Halo. Was it was kind of controversial that control scheme at the time. Like, it was kind of a big thing that they were like, "No, this is how you play the game." Right. Which but is. It, 
because so silly that that was an issue. I remember playing Halo for the first time and really being confused by how to move. Yeah. Oh, completely confused. Like, yeah. I feel like the first time anyone tried that control scheme, they had that moment of like being in the corner and just turning and just being like, how do I stop turning? For like a oh, what a weird feeling that was. I'm now remembering that feeling. You know what? You know, you know how sometimes in your kid was, brain, when you're a kid, you mash two things together? Yeah. And you're like, oh, these two things are the same thing. Or like, these two things happened on the same day, but actually there was like a year in between those two things or something. Right, yeah, it's the same sort of feeling where I would play the Xbox, the original Xbox with my cousin Ted, um, and we would play Halo, and there would be, there's there's a there's a, an alien called a, a hunter in Halo. And then oh, thank also, you for explaining that to me. No, 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 no. And then there was also a video game called uh, Hunter's The Reckoning. Yeah, Hunter the Reckoning. And in my head, those were like for a little while, Halo and Hunter the Reckoning were just the same game. Like that was what? just another part of that game. Yeah. By the way, I don't. Oh, you know what? I what? never put it out. But uh, there was one time. There, there are two one-off videos that we have that are me and Andy. Yeah. Um, where we just rented a bunch of games, or we 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 rented uh, Rogue Warrior. And that, that went up. And Driver San Francisco. Those two went up. Okay. One game that I had that we played was Hunter the Reckoning for for the original, the original Xbox. Xbox. And uh, God, what a shit of a game that was. I knew it was bad, and I was like, oh, this will be funny because this game's so bad. And actually, it was so terrible that it was just like soul-crushingly boring that I couldn't even put it out. I, but he, and here's the thing. I was so young, I don't even remember that game having a quality. Like, I don't remember it being good or bad. Oh, it I was remember just it being fucking great oh really like i i remember uh andy was like the only person i knew for a while that had an xbox but he was also the only person you knew that's not true <laughs> <laughs> and and that was one of those games he like a bunch of us went over to his house and he wouldn't shut up about this game hunter the reckoning so we played yeah. it and it was like oh shit this is like the best game well it's basically hunter it's the basically reckoning is the, like the best game it's like a dual analog shooter right like, it's a twin stick shooter without basically. without twin sticks no, no, it's not. It's like a third-person action game, or it's but it's like top a, down. It's like an isometric. It's it's isometric. It's l more behind. It's more closer to the ground than it is top down. Maybe it was only top down because I remember playing like three players at once. Maybe yeah. And there was only one screen. It was not. There was not. It was not split screen. I Watch out for this danger I, bridge. I'm not even with that bridge. Oh, yeah. there's another. God damn, there's another fucking key. How many there's fucking another keys? Fucking key. Why? Why is the owner of this castle so secretive? Why is he hiding yeah. monsters behind doors? Right. The only thing I was sad about with my GoldenEye playthrough was that I wanted to do it like without any use of any kind of guide or anything. But uh, by the second half of the game, I was using, like, occasionally looking at a guide, but mostly just looking at level maps. Just so that I didn't have to look for things. Right. What sort of things were you looking at? That probably... The, I think the, the biggest problem with that game is that the way it does its difficulty is, like... Whoa! Who knew? It has a traditional difficulty curve where, you know, like, the, the higher difficulties have enemies that take more health and do more damage uh -huh. but it also has this thing where like there's more spy objectives in the hardest difficulty like you know you'll there are all these kinds of like objectives like put a tracker bug on a helicopter or put like, that tractor bug in your hack hack a computer or something and it sucks that like most of those extra objectives are locked to the hardest difficulty because i'm never gonna do that that's fucked up garbage. But like the the easy difficulty, where it's kind of the most enjoyable to play that game, it's just like oh, run through the the level and kill everybody. Um, I'm trying to you know I'm trying to remember. I put a lot of time into one of the original Xbox, uh, James Bond games. James Bond games. And I'm trying to remember which one it was. Something with the word fire in it? Uh, yeah. Night of... Age, night? No, it was Agent Under Fire. Agent Under Fire. There was another one. And it, I, I think it's not Agent Under Fire, and it's the other one that also had... Night something. Night Agent Fire? I mean, there was also Goldeneye Rogue Agent, but 
those games were garbage. Or that, I, that I just game remember, was garbage. I remember there was just this this one map, and there was two like how like buildings, and in between the two buildings was like a train tracks or something, and just playing multiplayer on that game with friends for just like a hundred thousand hours, like that was the that and uh, that and Call of Duty two and Halo were like the only three games oh. that I ever play with other people. Oh, but listen, I don't care what people say about this. There is n no redeeming quality to be found in the GoldenEye multiplayer. That was the thing in that marathon. Like, I was playing single player yeah. and having a good time, and everyone was like, everyone in the chat was like, play multiplayer, play multiplayer, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so we like, were playing multiplayer, you're having a fun time. Yeah, like we, I basically had to switch to multiplayer because no one would shut up about it, and yeah. then it was like terrible, and we stopped after two minutes. And I thought that you were having fun. That's what my memory was, no. that you had fun. The fun part was that I destroyed you, but that, I mean... Right, who cares? Um, she, oh, dear! Pony to bits. Marching... Mil... Mil... Mildy? Milda? Mildy? Marching Mildy. Ma ma marking... Bigger? Smaller? What's up? Bigger, Size obviously. I don't know. Sometimes it's not that Listen, way. we just got that fun one. Don't think it's going to happen every time. Oh, it's still cute, kind of. Um. Yeah, and I and I also I want to make the point that what am I doing with when this guy? I say Goldeneye is garbage, I am all specifically talking about the multiplayer because that's the only thing anyone ever did with Goldeneye. Like that was what the Goldeneye experience was basically. Oh man, it's going on to the beat. Listen to that. Oh no, it stopped. Oh, there we go. This is like a Zelda slime. Or like a, any other video game slime. Yeah, but that's so. like the that's probably the most popular slime. I well, no, I would say the the sl the dragon dragon quest slimes are probably the most recognizable slimes. I never played Dragon Quest. I mean, I I was gonna say I hadn't. I haven't either, but I have. But I knew about Dragon Quest slimes before I did. I mean, I, don't, I believe you that there are slimes in there. I don't know what would make them different than any other slime. They're just... They're more just kind of pushed as a character. Like, they they even made a, a Dragon Quest spin-off game where you played as a slime. Mmm, that sounds fun. It's called Rocket Slime. Rocket Slime? That sounds real fun. I, didn't, I don't know what you oh, did man. in Rocket Slime. Let's go... Let's do back-to-back -back Jumping Jack Rocket Slime... Jumping Jack? Yeah, Jumping Jack. The fuck is Jumping Jack? That fucking rabbit game. <laughs> That's the uh, Jumping Flash. Whatever. I got the th you're, I got two of the three that were in the Rolling Stones you song. You were thinking Jumping Jack Flash. It's hard to not when your game is called Jumping Flash. And when a Jumping Jack is a real word. See, look, I like a nice purple Yoshi. It's a good Yoshi. Yeah, this Yoshi doesn't look so bad. Get that flower. Get the flower. I'm gonna get the flower. Get the flower. Fucking relax yourself. I can't get this fucking flower. Dude. You can get the flower. You can get the flower. There we go. There. It's a fucking hard. It was a little hard. But was it so hard? No, it wasn't so hard. What else has been up, Kyle? Um, Since we last recorded, it was both Christmas and New Year's. True, true. Happy New Year. Oh, thank you. Happy, Happy new, 2015. Happy New Year to you as well. I'm actually calling it 2015. 2015? Yeah, I'm sick of all these people mispronouncing the year. Can I go 20... Can I go 21... Wait. No. I had a funny way to say it, and I lost it in my head. It got drowned. What are you trying to do there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, these little bugs can't do that. Wait, what am I doing with this thing? Oh, maybe I have to do this. 
Can you pound on the th on the lip of the thing? Oh, okay. No, I, I think I have to go back and hit that shell. I have to make the shell reappear and then go back and hit it. I don't know. I don't know. Or get this one. Good time! Oh, I guess this just isn't where I go. You just got points. You just got a buttload of points. I got a life. That was nice. Yeah. How do I... Uh... I think you just have to make the ball roll down more. I don't think I can. I think that ball's done. I mean, we got, man, we got off track on that New Year's and Christmas thing really fast. Yeah, we did. Hey, did you get any video gamey stuff for Christmas? Well, I, the same thing that happens every year happened to me where, like, my whole family just kind of doesn't know what to do with me besides to just get me kind of vaguely nerd shit. Ah, oh, GameStop gift cards. I know, it's so easy. It's such a, it's so easy and it doesn't make sense how, how much of a, like, I got a Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter t-shirt. It's advanced warfare. Whatever. A t-shirt? A t-shirt. So basically someone got, someone in your family somehow got a free Call of Duty shirt and went, oh, looks like I just, just found Keith's present. No, no. This is just the sort of gift that I get every year. Um, I got, um, like last year I got a, last year I got an Assassin's Creed novelization. <laughs> like it's just, like that's just the sort of gift I get. I also got, um, I got a... Uh, a t-shirt that was the album cover for Abbey Road, but instead of the Beatles, it was Stormtroopers. Like, it's that sort of that's thing. That's not so bad. It's not I so mean, bad, but it's, it's like... That's not the worst thing. In the vein... It's, it's just in the vein of that sort of, yeah, like, I, fucking I, loot crate bullshit. I get you, Like, yeah. it's like... <laughs> yeah, no, I, I feel you. I just, like, I just want to tell... I just, like, Keith, what do you want for Christmas? I don't know. If it would be in loot crate, don't get it for me. Um, uh, not because there's anything wrong with... You know, I, I feel the same way. I'm like, like, uh, we're, since we're going to have the new baby, uh -huh. um, the room that we're in right now, which is currently the office, is going to uh -huh. be the baby's room. And right. So we're, we're finishing a new room in the basement that's going to be our new, uh, let's play Dope dungeon. Dope ass, underground. It's pretty, by the way, it's pretty much the wrong button you underground. Can, you can check out the basement. It's got like walls and shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, did, you get, did you get someone to do it, or did you do it? It's uh, Nicole's stepdad. Okay. He's a contractor. Okay. So. Um, um, and and Nicole's like looking at all these things that I could do to like decorate the office to make it like a game office. Right. And was like, hey, check it out. Like, there were like these probably like Pinterest things about like you know take like a wooden like a cubicle like end table and paint it like a six-sided die or like a mario cube right or you know like or I've, uh hang a you know I have a good frame side note. frame a, mo a monopoly board and put it on the wall and it was like i i was just kind of like i i yeah. appreciate your enthusiasm yeah. about I this just, but this i know i know i'm like the world's biggest game fan but it just it's not in that way though yeah i just kind of don't don't need like stuff to reaffirm my own interest in things yeah you know and not that there's anything wrong with people that are way into it but also i like it's it's just like one step removed from something that i'm into yeah. you know like everything like a loot crate thing is is all like like just barely tangential off of yeah. what i want um my yeah, side like my side note though is that my fucking <laughs> like uh kyle how familiar are you with with okay cupid like uh, in the way that it works. Fair, uh, very familiar. Okay, so you answer the questions, and they get they like it. It feeds into this personality slide bar thing. Yes. And um, I I think it's fun to look at like and see what I answer and see how that changes those things. That's yeah. Any any time I've ever spent on OK Cupid was a hundred percent like let's just answer all these questions and then compare all the questions to the other questions. Like it's almost like dating was secondary. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's because, because all the questions are user submitted. So it's it, like, you can go and you can see the fucking answer biases through 
um, like what gets affected when you when you say a thing. And uh, I did not have a slider that said geeky, more geeky or less geeky. Like that is a thing that was not on my profile at all until I got a question that said like, do you own any die that have more than six sides? Right. And I just said yes, not thinking about it. And then Why would all you not think about it? Because I don't need to think to say yes to that. Like I could have either skipped it or answered like, it. I guess. I guess what I'm saying is like, did it not occur to you? Pound that, that thing. What are you doing? This thing. Yeah. Pound it. Oh, it's a key. Yeah. Good thinking, buddy. But, but now, now you I get lost that. my baby. You don't need your baby. You get that key. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. It's okay. Get that extra life earlier. But so. But uh, no, so. No, no. My question is, did it not occur to you that like? Owning dice with more than six sides, like a, a there is a kind of person that would have that, and that kind of person is a nerd who plays Dungeons and Dragons. I, I mean, I just did no. I just like said yes and then moved on and didn't think about it at all. Okay. Um, and then I and then like I just checked the thing and it was like there was all of a sudden there was a slider that said more geeky and it was as far to the right as you can get out of nowhere. Yeah. Like that one question cemented that thing and uh i hated it it was the worst um i mean how wrong are it's are not they? wrong it's just that que like that one question determined my fate forever uh as a weird okay cupid geek you are a weird okay cupid geek though. well i'm a weird geek and when you're on OK Cupid, you're a weird OK Cupid. That's geek. fair. I'm not very often. That side is horrendous. Um, what a bad place. Uh, yeah. Get. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the fish, and then it didn't. Um, I'm trying to think of any other fucking shitty nerd gifts that people have tried to hoist upon me. <laughs> um, I have a pair of like Xbox pajama bottoms you know it's weird i've never gotten like any of that garbage um, yeah I, I know you you still wear them like all the time right well i just don't have that many pajama bottoms <laughs> like i have my dad bought me as a as a joke gift he bought me um uh like motorcycle pajamas and then like weird like uh what a great joke and then like a weird like red skull like Ed Hardy <laughs> pajama bottoms, and I <laughs> <Okay>. just wait. <laughs> Buy motorcycle pajamas. Eh. Buying Keith at something from Ed Hardy is hilarious. It wasn't Ed. It's not Ed Hardy, but it has that yeah. sort of vibe. But like not colorful. It's just all black and red. It's okay. like if Ed Hardy was skulls in black and red. I'd say. Okay. Um, and I just don't have. I just don't have enough pajama bottoms to not wear those sometimes. I mean, you don't need to wear pajama bottoms. I, I do. They're comfortable. I don't like them. You don't like them? What's wrong with you? You're like a weird clothes sleeper. Yeah, I used to sleep in my clothes. Yeah, you. I assume you it still anymore. do. No. Um. It's it's. I use. I also used to sleep in my clothes, and then I just one day I was like, well, "This isn't comfortable. I hate this. Why do I do this to myself?" I hate those fucking crabs. Fuck you, crab. Okay, good. Um, so now I see in pajama bottoms. Why are these guys flipping over? Because like they're that? they're pumped. These guys are psyched. <laughs> these guys are getting down. These guys are getting down. These guys are flipping out. Flipping and out. They're freaking they're out. Freaking out. They're getting down. Getting down. These fucking sheep crabs are the worst. Uh, we still haven't talked about what we did get for Christmas. Well, I talked about some of my stuff. Okay, my shitty stuff. Why? Well, I, I I did get the TV. To play you got this right TV that we're playing my, on. Nicole got me a nice forty-inch LED TV. I know. This is got this got some sharp colors. It does. Um, it's nice that, that you can, what is it, what is this, it's not, I can't, I can't read, it's not Vizio, it's, it's um, this is an Insignia, the Insignia, it's the, it's right. the it's best, best Buy, buy yeah. Best Buy house brand. Um, God. does it, do you ever like know a thing about TVs and then you're like, I wish I didn't know that about TVs? 
Um, not about TVs, but mostly about games. Okay. Like, uh, the other, like, literally just yesterday in, in my office at work, um, all of a sudden one guy kind of said across the office to another guy, like, hey, you ever played a Splinter Cell Conviction? And he goes, uh, I don't know, when did that one come out? And I just go, May 2010. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was, um, that was... Just a that was one twelfth too specific. <laughs> you had not included the month. <laughs> that was some fucking frame shit. What's up? There's a lot of stuff happening on the screen, I guess. By the way, I I keep not noticing while we're playing, and then I always notice in editing, and I never remember to point it out. What? The top and the bottom of the screen are chopped off in this game. I assume to increase the frame rate. Oh yeah. Jesus. Just, just leave, just sit, hold on for a second. Hold on. Fuck you. Um, Fuck you, piranha plant. Pete Rana plant. His name is Pete Rana plant. I don't know about that. Um, no, I don't know about all that. Remember that guy? I don't know about that. I don't know about don't know that. that. Is that me? Is that a thing I did? Yeah. I kind of remember it, but I don't know about all that. <laughs> it's a classic. It's I don't. class one of my classic characters. <laughs> it's one of the ones that when I'm on stage, people clamor yeah. for. That I mean, that's almost as good as my uh, homophobic guy that almost also hates ketchup. <laughs> I don't remember that guy. He sounds problematic. <laughs> he is definitely problematic, but also pretty funny, though. Let's be honest. 